Have a look how flat and lifeless this clip looks like. Oh, it's so washed out. Did they overdo it with the smoke machine? Who knows? I think we need to fix it though. How are we going to do that though? I don't know how to colour correct in After Effects. Well, thank God there is the Colour Finesse plugin that comes with After Effects. I'm just going to come over here um, and type in Colour Finesse, and there it is there, the Colour Finesse plugin. I can drag and drop it onto this clip, and there we go. So when you get CS5, you actually get a key, a serial number, um, for this Colour Finesse 3 plugin. Um, I can just hit the expanded view here and we get to see the entire interface. Now, if you're not familiar working um, with uh, any color correcting tools in After Effects, this has got a very similar look and feel to uh, some of the ways that we work inside Photoshop, for example. Um, we've got tonal curves here, okay? So we can follow this along. We've got different reference monitors and so on. Here's the histograms. But the controls, look at the controls we've got here. We've got hue, saturation, uh, vibrance, brightness, contrast, even contrast center, which is a bit like mid-tone contrast, I guess. We can work with all of these. So if I wanted to adjust this clip, I might do something like this. I might, yeah, well, let's go ahead and bring the vibrance up. And as we do that, you can see the histograms changing, just like you would expect to find in Photoshop. So we drag that up. Needs a little bit more contrast in it, so I am going to go ahead and grab up the contrast slider. We're really going to break those histograms apart and add quite a bit of good contrast to it. We can then tell the contrast center where to be so we can lighten up the midtones if we want and darken the shadows or darken the whole lot, make it a little bit more moody. Whole bunch of adjustments that we can make. And what we've really created here is a huge S curve in the in the uh, tonal curve there, that's a really great way of making sure you've got plenty of contrast and plenty of color in there. It's terrific. But no adjustment uh, stands alone like this. We're never going to be working on just one clip. We need to be able to share these settings across different clips. Well, we can export these as color lookup tables, actually use them in a number of different systems as well. So we can export this lookup table, let's just go ahead and use this um, export to uh, smoke here, and we're going to call that, um, we'll just call it Mike's lookup table. There we go, lookup table Mike. And I'm just going to go ahead and chuck it on the desktop and then press OK. Looks pretty good. We've made a wonderful adjustment there. Happy, happy days. But we would like to apply that same color correction to this clip over here. Mm, bit, of a, bit of a problem. What do we do? Well, I'm going to come over to Effects and Presets and type in LUT for Apply Lookup Table. There we have it over there, Apply Lookup Table. I'm going to drag and drop that onto the clip and it's going to say, nice one, Mike. Where's your lookup table? Here it is here. I press open and voila! My lookup table is then applied to this clip and now both my clips are going to match so that when I join these things together and put them all in the same project, yep, got heaps of contrast, heaps of vibrancy in there. It's using the new Color Finesse 3 lookup table. Comes with um, CS5. You get a special key that comes along with it, a special serial key. Just type it in and away you go. Unlocks the whole thing. It's all licensed and you'll get some great results.